I, Robert Gates, do solemnly swear. Robert Gates is now at the Pentagon's helm. The new defense secretary getting sworn in and making clear his top priority. I intend to travel quite soon to Iraq and meet with our military leaders and other personnel there. I look forward to hearing their honest assessments of the situation on the ground and to having the benefit of their advice, unvarnished and straight from the shoulder. That seems to contrast with critics' complaints that predecessor Donald Rumsfeld didn't listen enough to military commanders. Gates comes on board as President Bush conducts a big review on what to do in Iraq. The new defense chief says everyone wants a way to bring American forces home, but he warns failure in the Mideast is not an option. Failure in Iraq at this juncture would be a calamity that would haunt our nation, impair our credibility, and endanger Americans for decades to come. The president says Gates is the right man to lead the military amid big challenges in both Iraq and Afghanistan. Bob Gates is a talented and innovative leader who brings a fresh perspective to the Department of Defense. I'm pleased that he's answered the call to serve our nation again. Gates won big points for being frank during his Senate confirmation hearings, and while he's asking troops to be upfront with him, he's also pledging the president will get the same thing from him, saying the president has asked for frank and honest counsel during a critical time, and that's exactly what he will get. Sagar Magani, The Associated Press, The Pentagon.